stuff. Right? We, got, we love our music here on the morning room. That's First great. we get Cali Shaw, and then we got 90s rap. It's great. This is Angie King Nocer, and the irony is that you and I met each other on the patio tractor a while That's right. back. Having beers. Yeah. It's great. And you were telling me then that you had this big event come up. Right. Yep. And it's the, the Bees and Seeds Festival. I think this sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So what are you guys going to be doing at this? And how to, like, do I have to bring seeds or bees? <laughs> well, you should bring seeds. You know, everybody always has extra seeds. You know, when you get right. the little seed packets and you plant and you got all these seeds left over. Right. And then um, I don't know what they are after that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should keep them labeled. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be having a seed swap. Um, the seed broadcast truck is going to be there. They tell What's they, the seed broadcast they truck? They're really cool. It's like an old um, uh, re retrofitted bread truck, and they go around capturing people's seed stories oh. and look at the interconnectedness between people and this, seeds. I think and, this is a photo. Of yeah, it. that's yeah, the seed is, broadcast truck. Really? Yeah. So it's like you know, I know that NPR has like the the. The, the booth where you go in and you can tell your story. Is that, mm -hmm. is that the same thing with it's this? It's very, yeah, very similar. And oh, the stories awesome. are on SoundCloud. They put them on SoundCloud. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. So yeah. I can go in, like, take my mom, and she can tell me about how she got her heirloom tomatoes or yes. whatever. Yes. Yep. That's yep. pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. So how did you get involved in all of this and in, in yourself? I mean, are you, mm -hmm. are you a gardener? Are you a farmer? Are you... Well, I'm actually, like bees? <laughs> I do like bees. I have a profound respect for bees, um, but I'm a functional medicine nutritionist, okay. um, a registered dietitian trained in functional medicine. Um, we really look at the root causes of disease. And one of the things that I teach my clients is to avoid genetically modified foods because of the health risks that they carry, that we know they're scientifically established, um, but also because of the damage that these, um, the, the herbicides and pesticides do to our environment and our pollinators. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the Bees and Seeds Festival comes in, is we're, we're wanting to help people to understand not only, you know, how to save seeds, um, but support our pollinators in our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, so what is going on with the bees? I keep reading about bees disappearing, mm -hmm. and, like, there's all a million conspiracy theories about why bees are disappearing. Do you guys have any thoughts? Well, um, yeah, it's... it's definitely linked to um, the herbicides and pesticides, pesticides mainly, mm -hmm. that are sprayed on conventional crops mm -hmm. and genetically modified crops um, take up, you know, contribute a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's the runoff and everything else that comes from the uh, the pesticides too that's getting in the waterways that I read right. about a lot. So, yeah, yeah, it yeah. gets everything. So the Beads and Seeds Festival, it is coming up at the end of the month, am I right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's going to be down at Tigway Park? Well, yes, yes, uh, it is, um, and it's you know it's going to be a celebration of food, farmers, seeds, and pollinators. It's going to be a really great positive space. Great. Um, and then, but before that, we actually start it at the downtown growers market with a march. Right, we're doing yes. the march against Monsanto, which is a worldwide event. We're joining a hundred. 200, 400 other cities, right? Right, 428 estimated cities. <laughs> <laughs> or thereabouts, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, across the globe are doing this. Um, and it's to raise awareness um, about... Um, uh, GMO GMOs, foods. yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Gene and to fight genetically the modified foods, right? Yeah. yeah, and these are the things we think about. I know, I know they have been called, you know, Franken foods and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it really something from a, you know, from somebody who's trained in that in dietary medicine? Mm -hmm. Is that something that you, we really should be watching out for and paying more attention to? Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it can be pretty freaky, you know, like. <laughs> fish DNA in a tomato, uh -huh. um, and actually a guy just died in Spain because he ate a, a, a sandwich with a tomato. He had a fish allergy, mm. and he had no idea that the tomato had fish DNA proteins, wow. and he actually died, that's and they interesting. confirmed that his death the, was from that. That's, yeah. that's very interesting. Yeah. So with the Seeds Festival, you guys are hoping to like... We basically get those heirloom crops growing again. Is that kind of the point of it? Yeah, yeah, to continue those seed lines, you know, because yeah. the the biotech companies, what they want to do is, I mean, they patent their seeds, right. and you can't save their seeds. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and a lot of times, the the seeds won't even re, the plants won't even reproduce. They're anyway. not perennials anymore. Right. Yeah. So we really want to um, help to continue the tradition of seed saving, you mm -hmm. know, which really is, uh, you know, is fading. 
Um, right. It's not something that's mainstream. It's just a select few, but we want to get that more mainstream. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So the festival, you're going to have some you know, speakers and music and kids' activities. Tell me a little mm -hmm. bit more about everything else you got at the festival. Oh, well, we're going to have live music, mm -hmm. uh, Element 37, Mondo Vibrations, um, Seed, a collective voice is going to be there. Mm -hmm. They do these huge, amazing seed murals. Ooh. And actually, um, if I have this right, I think everybody at the festival is going to be able to help make this Put a big seed, on seed this. mural. Oh, that's mm -hmm. very cool. Very yeah. cool. And a lot of uh, information about, you know, how to, you know, if you want, if you're interested in keeping bees, having a beehive in your own backyard, we're going to have beekeepers there, gardeners, you know, to help people learn how to how to be a little more independent and, you know, right. self-sustaining. Grow your own stuff. Yeah. I love it. We'll be back in a, just a couple of seconds and we'll talk a little bit more about Bees and Seeds Festival and then maybe Kelly Shaw, if you're still here, Polly, will you nice. play us out in a minute, Polly? Yes, okay, good. We love Polly Shaw here on the morning crew. And yeah, back in a couple of seconds.